guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Michelle. And I'm Ken and today we're doing our July movie preview. We are yeah. talking about some of the films that are coming out in the month of July. We usually incorporate television into these videos, but there yeah. wasn't a lot of substance in the TV uh, category to talk about. We do right. have House of the Dragon, which we're enjoying right now, but that came out in June. So um, we're going to be talking about the movies. There's a lot of good stuff coming out this month. Yeah, to theaters and streaming. So A lot of good stuff. We will be covering both. But before we get into it, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, we talk about movies and TV, and we do fun, entertaining live streams every do Monday it. night. Hit the subscribe button. Also, yep. like this video. Like the video, like she said. And then comment down below what you are looking forward to that is coming out in the month of July of all the movies that we discuss here today. And if we miss something, let us know in the comment section below. But For sure. let's let's get us started. What are we kicking all right. off with? Let's get into it. So um, on July 3rd, we have the fourth installment of Despicable Me. Despicable Me 4. They're already on four? Number four. I get it. Have Not we to seen mention, all these? Uh, you know, the Minion. Was there one Minion uh, spinoff? Or? I believe there were two. Two, okay. So yeah. this is in the Despicable Me universe, the sixth film. Yeah, uh, you know, um, Steve, Steve Carell's back as, uh, is it Gru? Gru, Gru. yeah. Um, and we got I, the girls. I, I girls? believe they have a new uh, baby. Oh, okay. There's a little baby involved. And so, uh, yeah, number four. Who played his um, his girlfriend or wife? I think she was brought in the second one. Wasn't it Kristen Wiig? Yeah, I think so. Is yeah. everybody coming back? Yep. Steve Carell, everybody? Pretty sure, yeah. Okay, the, the Spickle so, Me 4, yeah. We've, have we seen all these? Um, I think so. I think we've seen most of them. I mean, we may have missed the most recent Minions movie. Yeah, I, I'm talking about like Despicable Me. Despicable we, Me we've, we've seen, seen all them. the Despicable Me. Yeah, so, we've, we've um, so yeah, that one will be coming to theaters July 3rd. Okay. Um, and then let's see here. Uh, also July 3rd, we have uh, Beverly Hills. Is it Beverly Hill Cop? Beverly Hills Cop. Beverly I think. Beverly Hills Cop. Um, Axel F. This is coming to Netflix. So streaming. Yeah. Um. I have said this on my channel. I don't know if I've ever talked about it on this channel, but I'm not really the biggest fan of this franchise. Oh. Really the first one. People consider the first one to be an all-time classic. Gotcha. And it was the highest grossing film of the year that it came out because Eddie Murphy was a huge star in the 80s. Gotcha. Um, so I, I like I actually like the two sequels better than I do the original. The trailer for this looked really good. Gotcha. So I'm kind of excited to watch it um, and see what older Eddie Murphy can do as Axel Foley. Yeah, I mean, I I don't even know if I've seen any of them. Um, I might have seen bits and pieces, yeah. but I do like me some Eddie Murphy, and so I am Almost looking forward to, to that. I almost wanted to go back and rewatch the original with you, and maybe I'll change my opinion on it, so maybe we do that before gotcha. this comes out. Maybe I don't so. Know. Maybe not. Um, all right, so that one is coming July 3rd as well. Um, and then on July 4th, uh, good old, you know, America, ha happy America. <laughs> happy America Day. Um, Independence Day. We have a movie called Space Cadet, and this is coming to Prime Video. Um, this movie looks terrible. It is starring, <laughs> <laughs> it is starring, uh, what's her name? Emma. She's one of the Emmas um, from American Emma Horror Watson? Story. Emma no. Roberts. Emma Roberts. Emma Julia Roberts. Roberts. I always get the um, Emmas confused. Niece, right? Uh, who? Julia Roberts. Oh niece? yeah, yeah, she no. is. Um, I thought you said something else, but yeah. So, um, this one, it just looks. I think it's about her character is like someone that wants to go to space or something. Mm. It just looks very silly, um, which I think is intentional, but it just it just looks corny AF. So. I, have, I have not seen anything. About this yeah, movie. very, very, uh, um, yeah. Um, I, I don't know. Um, you don't think it'll be like a spaceman situation with Adam Sandler? You love, you love that movie. Oh no, Doesn't definitely like not. That. This one is definitely like is it more uh, like comedic. More comedic, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, I um, I don't love her either. She's not the best no, actress. Um, she just feels different now. Like she looks different. Mm. I don't want to comment on an actress's looks, but she just feels and looks different than she used to back in the day. Because well, I remember liking her like, back in the Scream 4 and some of the stuff she did back in American Horror Story and stuff. Gotcha. But. Well, you know, she has had, um, I think, at least one kid. So, you know, being a mom changes okay. you. Okay. Um, you know, she might have had some plastic surgery. Who knows? But, um, mm. okay, so moving along, we have something that I know you're excited about. Uh, July 5th, we have Maxine. Maxine. The third installment of Ty West. Yeah, they're right? calling it the X Trilogy because the first movie was 
X. Um, so we watched X, and we were kind of, nah, this is okay. Mm -hmm. um, I really like Pearl. We saw mm -hmm. that in the theaters. Um, we actually have reviews for both those films up on the channel. But this one looks like my kind of movie, you know, set in the 80s. Mm -hmm. um, th there's talk of it having kind of a giallo-esque um, style to it. Gotcha. Uh, which I love, those Italian horror films. So I'm looking forward to this one. I think it, it has the potential to be the best of the trilogy. Um, so, yeah, I'm very excited for it. How about you? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't think that I'm going to see it in theater, um, in the theater, you might go by yourself. I don't know. I um, it. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I don't do very well with like, I know this movie is probably going to be like really intense as far as like the, the gore and the, yeah. the yeah. murder and stuff. And I just get like really anxious watching that kind of stuff in the theater. I like being in, like, I still get anxious at home too, but you know, at least I have the option to kind of pause it and like yeah. go take a break or something. So, um, I am like looking forward to the like conclusion to it. Um, I'm sure it's going to be a good like horror movie. Um, yeah, cause this one's pretty much supposed to be, I don't think it's, it'll, it's a direct sequel to X cause Pearl was a prequel. Mm -hmm. Um, this one I think takes place in 1985. X was in the seventies. So this one should be a continuation in like several, several years down the road, I guess when, um, uh, I can't even remember. Oh, Maxine. That's her name. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, um, when she becomes a star you know, yeah. in the industry, pretty much. Yeah. So, um, which is, so it's supposed to be like um, a, few, a few years after like what happened in the house. Is that right? Yeah. It, okay. sh it should be because it's, it's in the 80s. So, yeah. you know, it's got that 80s music and style and aesthetic. So I just gravitate towards that. I'm excited yeah. for it. Okay. So moving right along, we have um, on July 11th, we have Fly Me to the Moon. Um, this has, uh, what's his name? Ch Channing, Auto. Channing Tatum. I, I think I've seen this. Um, Maybe and, a poster or something. Um, uh, Scarlett Johansson. And yeah, another one that I'm just like, eh. Is this like a romance movie? Yeah, it's like a, it's a, it's a romance movie. The posters movie. may look like a Nicholas Sparks movie. Yeah. Is this a, it, based on a book or something? Maybe? Um, that I don't know about. Uh, okay. but it just, um, doesn't really look like anything that I want to, you know, take the time to watch. So okay, is that um, in theaters? But streaming? that is coming, yeah, to theater. Oh, okay, yeah, I got you. Um, okay, then July twelfth, we have another horror movie, and it is Long Legs with uh, Nicholas Cage. These are like two of my most anticipated for the whole year: Maxine and Long Legs. Uh, yeah, coming out so the another. Same um, what I'm sure is to be a very high, like anxiety-inducing, yeah. anxious. Uh, tense movie. I, um, it's funny. Sorry, uh, it's funny ahead. to talk about Nicolas Cage in it because you know he's in it, but they have yet to show him at all in it. Um, it's been a very like mystery. Uh, yeah, that's it. what I was gonna say. It's really cool that they've been keeping him yeah. under wraps because he's supposed to be the the killer in the right. movie. Um, but this one just has those Silence of the Lambs vibes just all over it. Like from what you I've think? been seeing, the oh, promotional that's not material. What I got from like Mac and Rose just kind of channeling Jodie Foster from Clarice from Silence of the Lambs in really? the trailer, like walking around with the FBI jacket and investigating. So that's what they're saying. This one's supposed to be like, I'm, there's going to be different twists and turns, I'm sure, but like kind of a modernized take on Silence of the Lambs, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. So I'm excited to. To check this one All out for right. sure. Directed by Oz Perkins. I don't know if you watched his movie with me, but he did a movie called The Black Coat's Daughter. I feel like we watched it together, um, but it's the same director. Okay. And that was a really good kind of tense horror, th horror film. So. Gotcha. I've been excited to see that movie ever since it was announced and I saw the did, images and the title the, card and everything. That had the uh, one girl from Mad Men, right? The daughter? Yeah, it did. The blonde. It did. It had a, a lot of recognizable, like, young females. Were stars they, like, at, the at a school or something? A Catholic school? Yep. Okay. Yep. I vaguely remember it. Yeah. Um, really good movie, though. So I'm super excited for Long Legs. That's probably my most anticipated for the entire month. Okay. If I'm being honest. Um, all right. And then moving right along, we have uh, July 19th, Twisters. Okay. Yeah. So I actually, I'm looking forward to this one just because um, we plan on going to the theater to see it because it's a movie that we can all see as a family. So those are always a, a plus for me. Um, and yeah, we just recently watched the first uh, Twister yeah, uh, movie. Yeah, with the kids. 
with the kid with the kids um, because they hadn't seen like it. I feel like everybody right? enjoyed it too. Like our daughter yeah. doesn't usually sit there um, in the house when we watch a movie and watch it the whole time. She did for Twister. Yeah, so they they really enjoyed the uh, all the tornado scenes and stuff. And so I'm excited to uh, take them to go see this. Yeah, I was a little apprehensive about it because, you know, you're doing a Twister sequel without Bill Paxton, and we still don't know if Helen Hunt's going to make an appearance or not. Right. Um, Which would be pretty epic. But the trailer kind of sold me on it. I think it looks good. I think it has the same kind of aesthetic. You know, we see the Dorothy machines. Um, which is a little confusing. They have the same technology, like 25 years, almost I, 30 years later. I feel like, uh, you know, Glenn Powell, he's, I feel like he's kind of like taking the, the role of what Bill Paxton was. Um, and I feel like he's going to be a good, like, yeah. step in for that. Um, His character feels like a combination of Bill Paxton and Carrie Elwes. Like, he kind of has that cocky, like, charisma mm -hmm. to him, but he also, you can tell, like, he knows what he's talking about, like, Bill Paxton mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, um, so, so I, I think he's gonna be like a combination of the two. Gotcha. Yeah, so I'm um, looking forward to that one. And then uh, the last one I've got is uh, July 25th, Deadpool 3. Deadpool, or Deadpool and the Wolverine. Yeah. Yeah, so I I could honestly eh. care less. Same. <laughs> I just don't, I don't care about Deadpool anymore. To be honest, like I never loved Deadpool, the Deadpool movies. I thought really? they were I like fun did, and actually. amusing. I didn't. I, I remember we watched the first one and it was super hyped up and I was like, this is fun and it's, you know, raunchy and gory and I get it. I get the appeal, but I just didn't think it was, I thought it was just a little bit too over the top with its humor and I almost felt like it was trying too hard. Gotcha. Um, so I liked the first movie. I liked the second movie, but I'm not, I just don't care about superheroes and this stuff anymore. Um, you know, so yeah. I can't, the, the one thing that I can appreciate about it is that it's definitely like, it's Marvel, but it's kind of off to the side yeah. uh, because it is R-rated and it's it's just more you know ad adult um, yeah. superhero um, as opposed to the other Marvel stuff, which is more like you know for the whole family type of Marvel stuff. Um, so I can't appreciate that. Um, you know, I think like the the humor and stuff. It, it definitely makes a difference or whatever. But yeah, I'm just not. It's just not like made for me type of movie. So. Yeah, and also another thing that's got working against it for me personally is the ending of Hugh Jackman and the Wolverine character, or him as Wolverine, ended right. for me and Logan, and I love Logan, and for me this kind of takes not away ruins from it, but just takes away from it a little bit. I get it. Like, him and Ryan Reynolds have been going back and forth on social media and building up this, like, fake feud for years. So it makes sense that they would do this financially. I think the movie's going to do very well. Mm -hmm. But for me personally, I just I don't like it that he's coming back after ending his story arc and with Logan. So gotcha. Um, but I'll see it at some point. You know, I just don't feel like we're going to go to the theaters and check it out for sure. Yeah. So I mean, overall, I feel like you know it's a pretty pretty solid month. There's there's some good things sprinkled in here. So yeah. What what Especially I'm really curious about is will Despicable Me. Uh, have a huge opening because family films are hot right now. Is this going to have an they Inside are. Out 2 type opening? Like, that has the potential to do the best of all the movies coming out this month. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't uh, I don't think it's going to do as good as Inside Out. Yeah. I mean, the Despicable Me movies traditionally have done very well. They have. Well. So we'll see. But we'll yeah, see. that's going to do it. Yeah, thank you all for watching our, um, you know, July preview, movie yeah. preview. Uh, if you want to leave your most anticipated movies of july in the comment section below please do so also subscribe like the video and uh we'll see you guys later bye guys